Hi, you two. Mrs Wood here. If you're in my phonics set when we're usually in school, you're watching the right video. Now, as you can see, I'm at home today, just like you are. So I hope you're keeping safe. Although I'd love to be in school and we all miss you, but I'm doing my part too and staying at home. So every morning, I will post a different phonics video up with a different sound each day. Some of the sounds might be sounds that Roy covered in school, but some of them may be new sounds. All of my sounds are from phase five, but I will be doing a bit of a revisit to phase three as well. So let's have a little look first at the sound that we're looking at today. So I want to see if you can guess what sound we're going to be doing. So here's a little clue. To remember this sound, we think of the word play. Write down on your whiteboard or tell a grown-up which sound you think we're going to be learning today and revisiting and practising. Okay, hopefully you've remembered that we remember the sound A for play. So today we're looking at the letters A and Y and when these letters are put together, they make the A sound. Now this A is usually found at the end of a word. Okay, can you think of another way we write the A sound? But that sound we would usually find in the middle of a word. I'm going to write it down as well and see if you can write down your whiteboard another way of writing the A sound. And let's see if it's the same as mine. Okay, ready? So today we're thinking of A-Y, but we also already know A-I. And this is A for rain. Now we'd usually see this in the middle of a word. Like Mrs Wood said, we'd find this sound mostly where. Tell your grown-up at the end of a word. So I'm going to write some words on my whiteboard. And with your grown-up, I want to see if you can read the words that I've written on my whiteboard. So I'll start with a really easy one. And this is how we remember the sound to begin with. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. So, pl a Okay, let's put it together. pl a Play. Just tell your grown-up why Mrs Wood has put a squiggly line under pl. Okay, you should have said because it's a blend. So we've got our line under our sound and a squiggly line under our blend. So we've got pl, a, play. Okay, have a go at writing it as well on your whiteboard. See if you can write the word pl, a on your whiteboard. Okay, I've got another word for you. Hmm. This time... You should finish writing play now. Our next word is cl a. We've got another blend at the start. Cl a. Clay. Have a go at writing clay on your whiteboard. Okay. So, so far we should have play and clay. Ooh, what do you notice about those words? Tell your grown up. Okay, Miss Will's got another one for you now. Okay. This word hasn't got a blend at the start, but I have used a capital letter. Let's read it together and have a chat why we think Mrs Wood might have used a capital letter. So we've got M, A, May. Okay. You should have told your grown-up we've got a capital letter because May is a proper noun. It's the month, a month in the year. So have a go at writing your whiteboard now, May. We should have play, clay and May. And all those end the same. They've got the same sound at the end. So they rhyme. Well done. Okay, so I'll put this one. This is a bit of a harder word. But it's still got today's sound at the end. Okay. Let's have a look together. We've got h, a, e, i, d, a. Tell your grown up what this word is. H, a, e, i, d, a. We should have said holiday. That is a tricky one. Have a go at writing that one on your whiteboard. Holiday. So, so far we've had play, clay, may, and the next one is holiday. 
Now the next word I'm going to write doesn't fit in with our ay at the end of a word. Okay. Have a look now where my a sound is in this word. So we've got cr, a, 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 n, cr, a, a, n. Tell your grown up what the word is. It's cr, a, on, crayon. And this one is an exception to our rule. The a y this time is in the middle of the word. So have a go with your grown up at writing crayon. Cr, a, on. Okay. Now, I'm not going to write any more words now with you. So, after my phonics video, I want to see, I want you to send me a picture of how many other A words you can find or come up with with your grown-up. So, I've got a sentence now. We would always end our phonics sessions in school with a sentence. We'd apply the sound that we've learned in school by then putting it into a sentence. So, Mrs Wood's got a couple of sentences for you here. Okay, let's look at my first one. So, I've written them down for you. Okay, can we see that? So, look. So I'm going to use my reading finger. K a n can a cr a on crayon m out melt in the rain rain. Now I'm asking a question there. So can you read it to your grown up as well? Can a crayon melt in the rain. You know, I've used another A there, so I've used our new A and the A that we already know. Okay, so have a little go at writing this sentence on your whiteboard as well. So you might want to pause here and I'll pop it down. And I want you to have a go at writing, can a crayon melt in the rain? And I'm asking you a question. So what's your sentence got to be end with? What will it be punctuated at the end? Will it be a question mark, a full stop or an exclamation mark? So have a go at writing, can a crayon melt in the rain? So you might want to pause it now so you've got a little bit of time. Okay, the next sentence. Oh, this has got a lot more A words in our sentence. Got quite a long one to begin with. Okay, we've got y, a, st, a, d, a, yesterday, I, pl, a, d, Played in the a hay on the r m farm. So, with your grown up, have a go at reading that sentence. Yesterday, I played in the hay on the farm. You might want to pause it here and have a little go at writing it yourself. Notice that my sentence begins with a capital letter, but this time, oh, what's Mrs. Wood forgotten? I haven't got a full stop, a question mark, or an exclamation mark. What type of sentence is this? It's just a statement, so I need a full stop at the end of my sentence. Yesterday, I played in the hay on the farm. And I want you to have a go at writing that on your whiteboard. Okay, brilliant. So you might want to pause for those times you want to write the sentence and go back. Now, I usually start my phonics sessions with a bit of a warm-up from phonics play. So after this session and you've written your sentences and your words, you might want to go onto phonics play. It's free at the moment because we're all schooling from home. So have a look at the website. It will tell you how to log in for free. And you might want to have a look at some games. If you go onto phase five and look for A-Y-A, it will give you lots of games to do with today's sound. And also, you'll be able to practice your tricky words and the sounds that we already know that we would usually do at the start of our phonics session. So that was our first phonics session and I will see you tomorrow where we'll learn a different sound. Don't forget to send me your photographs. I want to see how many words you can come up with using our A for play, our A-Y sound. Okay. See you soon.